Colorado voters last November decriminalized the personal use of psychedelic mushrooms for those 21 and older. And that's bringing a new type of competition to Colorado. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon shares more on the first ever psychedelic cup. A chemist at heart. This is liquid nitrogen. It's basically super, 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 super cold. Colton Brook loves what he does. By grinding it up, you're going to get the most accurate or average result of the actual sample. He knows the process well, but what he's testing at Altitude Consulting is new. For mushroom samples, probably, this is probably about the 25th, 26th. That's only day one of samples for a first of its kind competition in Colorado. The Psychedelic Cup is a uh, psychedelic mushroom growing competition. Jonathan Cherkis with the Psychedelic Club of Denver calls the laws that made this possible a huge step forward in psychedelic policy. The awards are a great way to kind of get people involved and stuff, but we really want people to just start getting their mushrooms tested. The competition won't have judges and the mushrooms won't be eaten. Instead, winners in a handful of categories will be scored based off their lab results. We don't want to make it just about the most potent mushroom because a lot of people don't don't want that or need that. The data they'll gather from the homegrown samples is meant to provide perspective on different mushrooms and their therapeutic qualities. The regulations don't exist yet. The companies don't exist yet to do it, but this data will be useful and people will know what they going in, what they kind of want, and they'll, they'll have more informed patients. So these ones are stormtroopers, is the name of the strain. Denver Spore Company is run by Eric Burden. One of my all-in-one grow bags. Who understands the importance of the information being collected. I don't really like to compare alcohol to psychedelics, but knowing, okay, this is a beer, this is a wine, and this one's whiskey. It's good information to have from a harm reduction point. Even though psychedelics aren't new. Now I'll take this, the whole sample, when they're combined with chemistry. And just let this cool down for a second. It's a whole new kind of growth. I mean, it's gonna be a snapshot of mushrooms as they exist within the Colorado community. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. And Coloradans 21 years old and up can enter their homegrown psychedelic mushrooms in the cup. Samples will be taken through mid-October and the award ceremony is at the beginning of November.